What is up guys, another car review coming at you from me, Crystal5. 11 new cars to get through in this video, so hold tight. As always, if you want to win 15 Hearthstone packs of your choosing from vidbet.com esports, just like and comment this video and subscribe to the channel. If you want to increase your chances of winning, like and comment the other review videos as well. The winner will be announced on my stream on the 5th of August. Starting off with Augmented Elec, also known as Miracle Rogue's Wet Dream. This boy unlocks a lot of possibilities for some meme as well as some competitive interactions. Felurai Strider is the first card that comes to mind, but don't forget Pogo Hopper, Dead Man's Hand, Academic Espionage, The Darkness and a lot more funky cards that don't see that much play. It has an amazing stat line for a card with such a powerful effect and it's a neutral beast, so there's no real downside of running it in a deck that likes to shuffle stuff. Solid 4 star card for me, might be even a 5. I see a bright future for this one. Necrium Blade is up next. This one is a bit scary. I saw some people Furycraft the Maligos OTK with this one as soon as turn 7. Other than that, people would prefer the Shadow Blade over this most of the time, but since Blizzard is pushing a lot of Death Rattle minions in Rogue, maybe this will be the overall better free drop weapon for the class. Another 4 star rating for me here, but again it might turn out to be a 5 if people manage to refine a top tier deck with this gem. Thunderhead is the new shaman epic for this batch. If you play this elemental on turn 5 along with Voltaic Burst, you can float the board with 5 minions in a single turn. It's something like a Violet Teacher but harder to pull off and with a better result. You can even combine this with Primal Talismans to pull off a token druid like setup for an enraged next turn. The card deserves 4 stars I think. It has potential in several ways but we're about to find out what its best use would be. Storm Chaser is another shaman elemental 4 drop, but this time it's a rare. This card draw elemental seems to be really useful since it can fish for your volcanoes or enrage or even the new Eureka card. I feel shamans will put it to good use since they can reliably draw their high cost spells with this one. This might even be support for a Maligos shaman along with Eureka, who knows. 4 cards in a row with 4 stars, maybe I should name myself Crystal 4. Hmm. And Replicating Menace is the first new mech for this batch. Seems a bit expensive for a 4 mana free 1, but the death rattle makes sure you stick a mech on the next turn, so it might be usable. The curse has been lifted, 3 stars for this one. I'm not sure if it will see too much play, but it might not be as bad as most people think. Security Rover is the new warrior mech, that can prove to be quite annoying. It has a bit of a hogger feel to it, but being a mech might make it into a playable card for quest taunt warrior. Warrior could afford to play a weak turn like this with this skinny mech, so I think it might see some play in there and I'll give it 3 stars again. Most people think it's awful and they're probably right, but I believe in this little dude. And here is the most controversial card for this set so far, Mecha Toon. Good job Kaijo. This blast from the past wreaked a lot of havoc in the social medias and people keep fighting for it if it's amazing or is it just downright awful, and I have to say, it's awful. The death rattle is just too hard to pull off and the only plausible fury craft I've seen so far is a druid with a naturalize and innervate, but still it seems too far fetched to me. I'll give it 2 stars since some might actually find a way to make this thing work, but I'm really skeptical so far. Moving on to Necrium Vile, another card that pushes death rattle interactions for rogue. Maybe we will see a new egg rogue, huh? A lot of rogue archetypes saw support from the cards from this set so far and now this is a whole new archetype to think about. Maybe this will support the Maligos rogue further? I'm giving it 3 stars for now, but it might be a 4. Dream Petal Florist is the druid epic minion for this batch. Blizzard? What were you thinking? Druid really got a ton of crazy cards from this expansion so far and this one is one of the craziest. Ever since I started playing Maligos druid I've been talking about a lot of Maligos interactions and I think it's time to stop. But man, will Maligos love this card. I mean he already has Floop and now you can even play Maligos for 2 mana? Things are getting out of hand and I believe this card will be among the nerfed ones as soon as September. Obvious 5 star here, no need to justify myself is there? Fine, Maligos. Next is the Warlock legendary spell, the Solarium. Yay, another discard card for locks. Oh, wait, this one's actually good? Drawing 3 cards for 1 mana is amazing any way you look at it and this could be great support for the zoo decks since they managed to play a lot of their stuff when drawn. This might even help out Warlock's quest but let's not get ahead of ourselves. It thins out your deck and it's dirt cheap so it's a definite 5 star card in my book. Control locks won't touch it though. And the last card for this video is Arcane Dynamo. What? 
They released another one? God damn it. Okay, so the almost last card for this batch is Arcane Dynamo. It sounds cool, but I don't think it will see much competitive play. Maybe Druids might want to use it, since they have awesome 5 plus cost spells, but they already have a ton of awesome cards, so this just might not fit. Two stars seems fine to me. And the last card for this video is EMP Operative. And this is actually a card I predicted will get included in this set. A minion with a destroy a mech battle cry. It seemed almost inevitable to see a card like this get released in this set, since mechs started to look really scary and suddenly they kinda seem bad. If mechs start to see a lot of play, I'm sure everybody and their mothers will tech at least one of these in their decks. Now, I'm not too sure how good mech decks will be, since this card really breaks that magnetic, giant mech game plan. Giving this one at least 4 stars. Yeah, it might be a dead card most of the time, but I think it is meta defining, since it will keep the mechs at bay. And that's it for this card review guys. The 15 Hearthstone packs are waiting for you, so don't forget to drop a like and a comment and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching, I'm Chris05 and I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching guys, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and ring that bell so you don't miss out on our awesome promotions, including our top 3 plays of the week. Each week we are giving away amazing esports prizes just for liking and sharing on social media. For all other esports bonuses check the links in the description below. Until next time, happy gaming folks.